Hey guys, Angie here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. So today we have how I accomplished this wig situation, color ship, streak, ting. Like I don't even know how to describe this. This look is inspired by Alonzo Arnold. They posted a similar look on their story, not story, on their Instagram and TikTok. And I tried to recreate it. I don't feel like I succeeded. I think it's pretty close, but it's not giving the color oomph, the platinum, the Cruella de Vil that I was wanting so badly. But either way, if you're interested in seeing how I accomplished this color, then just scroll down, hit the subscribe button, join the night G gang, 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 and let's get into this video. Okay, so the hair has been sectioned. I just want to show you guys how I sectioned it because it wasn't easy to decide, but I think this is the best way because it doesn't look like there's a lot of blonde in the hair. So I didn't want to overdo the sections to make them too chunky, but essentially it's just like the last little bit of the frontal before the track. And then I took a little bit more here so that I get more blonde in the front. And it's the same thing on this side. Last little section before the track. And then I made the chunk bigger here. I'm gonna be using BW2 and 40 volume because we want a really high lift. Okay, so we have round I don't know what <laughs> going right now. I made the formula to runny, as you can see it's running. But this time I used prism lights. So we're gonna see how this goes because it was just so yellowy after. So I figure now's the time to start using the tonal blonde and some purple shampoo and we'll go from there. But we really need it light, light, light. Obviously, made some mistakes it's just hard to keep the hair so separate especially with like i'm not gonna say poor hair vendors because this is good hair for like the average consumer but i just mean when i see celebrity hairstylists do this i'm kind of like how do they get shit so precise but if you look at their hair it's always sleek like the hair behaves this hair when you're spending like under 500 dollars for a wig you have to deal with the fact that the hair quality is just a little bit not there and that means that sometimes I can't smooth the hair down and sometimes you get bleach everywhere. So after this I'm probably going to stop because I don't want to damage the hair anymore and hopefully I can tone the rest out of it and then bleach the knots. So this is what the highlights are looking like. Unfortunately they're very like weird toned. It's total ash. So we're gonna try this in hyper platinum. And voila, this is the finished look. Um, the hair is really soft, sorry. The reason why I'm hesitating is because I think this might be my last week for a very long time. I struggled with the install so much and it's just because I think I'm just not in the mood to install hair. I don't know if it's because it's summer or what, but like, I'm just over dealing with lace. So I think I'm gonna start experimenting with some bundles, some quick weaves, some ponytail styles, because I just feel like 
me and Wigs, we've run our course. We need a little break. Like, we're very, not new in the relationship, because, you know, we've been hanging for a little while now. But I think that is. I just need something different. And it has nothing to do with this wig in particular. I think I just had a hard time because I was just tired. The color came out super cute. I don't know how Miss Alonzo Arnold got the streak so, so platinum because they look really nice. But the hair, from what I did do, it's a different texture. It's not super dry, but that's why I stopped here because I'm just frying the hair. And I don't know if, if I had had professional products, if it would have not fried the hair because I feel like anytime I have to lighten hair this much, this is what happens. So what I'm thinking is perhaps, you see that glow by the way? Lavishly money bags. I think perhaps they got a 613 wig and then just toned it and then dyed the darker parts. Cause that's what, that was one, that was one of my options. That was something I was considering. And it makes the most sense because in order to get the black hair as light as they have it in that TikTok real situation, you have to do serious damage, whether it's professional or not, because I'm pretty sure I did use developer on this in the beginning. Like it's taken me so long to film this and upload this that I can't remember, but I'm pretty sure I was using developer in the beginning and I just was fed up. <laughs> That's basically what, how we got to box dye. Um, I like it. I like the color a lot. I like that it's not super orangey. It's more on the cooler side, although it's not totally cool and totally platinum. It definitely is still warm and almost like my sizzle wig. It's still not as orange as that wig, thankfully, because then I at least have something different. But I mean, I would have loved for it to be platinum, so I think I'm probably gonna end up coloring it like a crazy color, like maybe pink or something. I think that that would be cute here, uh, just because I already have something that's blonde, but when I started this, I really wanted it to be platinum. And it's not bad, like, I, I know. I know it's not bad, <laughs> like I know it looks really, really good. I just think that it's not what Alonzo Arnold was giving, so I'm disappointed in myself. You know what I mean? Um, but aside from that, I feel like the wig and the lace look okay. I just have problems laying it. Like, I used glue, and then I didn't glue it well, so then I had to use gel. So if you really got close up in here, you would see all my flaws, which is why I'm all the way back here. <laughs> uh, but I think the lace is actually, like, as close to HD lace as you could probably get on AliExpress. The hair quality, as always, look at this. Beautiful. Um, it does get poofy, or it did, but I did just use a lot of like sheen spray. I used um, bio silk. I used anything that's smoothing, I put in my hair, and this is how we got here. But she's really good. Like, I've just been playing in her and she's been looking beautiful. Aside from that, those are my final thoughts on this look and this process and all the things that I <laughs> incurred during this time. If you did like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about anything I did today. And as always, subscribe to me. You pay my bills, right? Again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!